Hello, just good your bricks, and this is it, you know, the 100th review. I, I mean, when I first started, I know this is really cliche to say, I did not think I would actually get this far. I mean, I think copyright would have got me, or... And I really hope you guys all enjoyed all of these. Of course, I'll keep on doing them, but for the 100th review, I'm going to do one that a lot of you guys re actually requested, and that is Garbage Truck Getaway. And, um... Many of you guys might not know what this set is, but some of and some of those people who don't know what it is have requested it. And the reason why the set is so good and stuff like that is because it comes with the best minifigure in the whole world. Yeah, uh, or at least sorry, not the best, my favorite. That is Twitch, and Twitch is a little um, I guess bug guy. Some people call it alien guy, bug guy. That has been my avatar and really my sig fig or signature figure for um, since 2010 and a lot of people I know who are new to like um, the Lego community and they saw this like from my YouTube account and they always ask who is that? Who's that bug figure? Where is he from? And I always try to answer it best to the best that I can but I mean like it, he's just such an awesome figure and I'm going to get into why he's such a good figure and this is going to be a pretty long review because I'm going to go into the details and stuff like that and my memories with the set and I love the Toy Story line, you guys know that. I'm probably going to review all the Toy Story sets by the, um, hopefully by the end of the year, which I doubt I can. And, um, I just, I mean, the Toy Story 3 line was just such a huge influence on my passion for Lego. Like, I mean, I was, I've been in the Lego community since 2008, but once the Toy Story line came out, that's really when I got passionate about it. But here's the stats for the set, and it is set number 7599. It's called the Garbage Truck Getaway. It has 402 pieces. It's recommended for ages 7 to 14. It's Like I said, it's part of the Toy Story 3 line. Or the Toy Story line, but the Toy Story 3 sub theme. And yeah, it was released in 2010. It's currently discontinued. And it retailed for $50 at legoshop.com. But I got it from Toys R Us because it was a Toys R Us exclusive. And let's put the best community figure like right here. And so now I guess let's take a look at the packaging. And here's the packaging for the set. Um, we can see some awesome, awesome details on the front. I especially love this little icon right here, which may look very familiar to a lot of people who know me from Flickr and stuff like that. And that's been my avatar basically on all the other LEGO sites besides Zero Bricks, and even on YouTube. And here's the back. It's kind of a thick box, and uh, it comes with Jesse, the dirt version, Buzz Lightyear, the dirt version, lots of the dirt version, and Twitch, the awesome version. And all the minifigures are exclusive except the Lotso, and he comes in the trash compactor. And it says limited edition in different languages on the side. I just love these boxes, they're so like sturdy and stuff like that. And there's even an icon and they kind of like put Twitch right there and it doesn't really look right. Yeah, now let's take a look at the um, minifigures. And before that I just forgot to do this. And here are the two instruction booklets. And now let's take a look at the minifigures. And so here's the first minifigure, and it is Dirt Buzz. And my version of him was so special because it actually didn't come with the dirt printing, so I had to get a replacement, and this is the replacement head. But I still have that dirt version, and I'm guessing it costs a lot of money, but um, I'll probably be keeping it. And you can see there's some awesome printing on his legs with some dirt prints, and on his um, little, whatever it's called right there, his torso part. And his face does have a dirt print, and he's kind of angry. And so without the dirt print, my version was very useful. And we got this little helmet part right here. And here is the back, and there is some dirt on the back of this, which is just, it's, I mean, the detail they put into the figures on this set is just amazing. We got all these little dirt printings. And then um, this was kind of put in the uh, Lone Ranger sets, how they have the new, um, like, mine set, and they have dirt on them. And here is the torso. There's, sadly, there's no torso um, dirt on there, but it's still okay. And here is Jesse, and Jesse's just an awesome minifigure. And this is exclusive to the set because it is a dirt version, kind of like Buzz. And we got some dirt um, printing on her long legs, and I love these long leg pieces. Woody has the same thing too. And she does have some dirt printing on her torso and her arms, which is always cool to get arm printing. So that's really cool. And then some dirt printing on her face. And sadly, there's none on the back of her torso, which kind of sucks, but it's still pretty cool to have dirt printing on her um, arms. That's really what I'm astounded about, because um, printing on arms is just such a rare thing in the LEGO world. world so, uh, 
in the Lego world, sadly, nowadays. And I remember they did it with Greedo, um, Greed, what's his name, Greedo, from Star Wars. And here is Lotso, and I'm not really spoiling anything when I say he is the evil guy. I bet m most of you guys have probably seen Toy Story 3. It's just such a great movie. And if you haven't, shame on you and go check it out. And we got some dirt printing on his um, torso and some dirt printing on his legs. And this is only figure not exclusive to the set because this version also comes in the trash compactor escape. And we got some dirt printing on his back. And he's a pretty cool figure. He is comprised of three parts, his little um, main part right there, and then his two arms, which are detachable, kind of like the Hulk's arms from the um, recent sets of the Marvel superheroes. You can see it detaches right there. And so he's just a really well-detailed figure. And yeah, there's that, and now on to the best figure ever. And so here he is, I'm finally reviewing him at Twitch, and a lot of people ask, oh, um, why is he the best figure, or why is he your favorite figure, and a lot of people say that he isn't, but, um, I'm sorry, he isn't the best figure, but he is my personal favorite minifigure of all time, and that's just because the amount of, like, effort Lego put into this figure in this set is just astounding, I mean, it's hard to explain because basically this is a special edition set, so it probably wouldn't have so. Um, and I know it didn't actually sell well as the other sets. Even the Pizza Planet truck, I'm pretty sure, sold better than this set. I remember this was on clearance on LegoShop.com for a while, and I think the Pizza Planet truck was on there for a while too. But um, and this one is, it's just. I mean, they knew. I knew that they knew that this set wouldn't sell as well, but the. Amount of effort they put on to all the other figures and this particular figure, it's just, it blows my mind and it makes me love Lego and why I'm so passionate about Lego is for the little things and this is one of those little things that they just put, like I said, so much effort into it. And now, why? Well, first thing, his head is a new mold specific for this figure. You can see his eyes are right there and there's just so much detail. Even on the back, there's like this little rigid part right here and his eyes right there. And his two um, little antennas right there, I'll take one off because they're kind of um, hard to, um, easy to break. And you can see that um, there's two of them, and those are new molds all by itself. And you can stick them back in by putting them in that hole right there. And then finally, they, they made another new mold. So there's a total of three new molds on this figure alone. And it is this wing piece. And this wing piece is probably one of the best, I think, I would probably, well, no, this is probably like the second best piece of 2010, only losing to that 2x4 um, tile piece. And I love this wing piece. I mean, I don't know why a lot of people don't use it more, but it's just a fantastic piece. And I know they kind of remade it for the Galaxy Squad theme, but that's totally different from this one. And I think this is a more superior one because this could also be used as a cape or something like that. And the Galaxy Squad one is more like rigid and stuff like that. So just for this exclusive set, they made three new parts. And, you know, it's just amazing. I can't believe that they made three new parts for exclusive set that probably, that they knew that it wouldn't sell well because it was put into Toys R Us and it's not really the most appealing set, but the figures are what really make the set. And you can see that this piece, you can basically put on any minifigure and it just fits on the neck right there. So we got like three new molds right there and some awesome printing on the front and sadly, I'm pretty sure not on the back. Uh... Yeah, not on the back, which is a little bit disappointing. Uh, that's probably the most disappointing part about him. And not on the legs, but he doesn't really need leg printing, so I understand that. And, yeah, I mean, Twitch is just, like, the best minifigure. Or, sorry, my favorite minifigure. And I have so many memories with this set and him. I remember when the pictures first came out, I was so, like, psyched that I found... Because I found them out of... Um, I found them by myself because I saved the actual link to the set when, before it was removed from Toys R Us and every day I would check on it. And finally one day for some reason they put the pictures up and um, I just, I post on your works like, whoa, look what I found. I put blurry pictures and at first I didn't want to post the link because I wanted to take all credit for it. But now I've learned better and at the time I actually um, decided that I would post the link so people could get better pictures because that's before I knew how to like get HD pictures and stuff like that. 
So I posted that, um, the link, and I think Oki, um, who's a great guy, he, um, he got the HD pictures and then Grogol did, because Gro this was probably maybe right before Grogol started getting active, or G. Rogol, I really don't know how to pronounce it. And um, they posted the HD pictures, and the one picture I took from this um, before I posted the link was the picture, the little thing on the box, just shown right here. I'll get to it. And um, it is this part on the box where, uh, where is it? It's the corner part where it basically shows that part right there. And I made that my Flickr avatar and my Eurobricks avatar because I, I was looking at for a sig fig at the time. Or a signature figure, which is basically your main figure, and so I just loved this minifigure so much at like it was like love at first sight. So I posted that as my avatar on Flickr because I made a Flickr just to upload these pictures and as my avatar on Eurobricks, and um, yeah, it's just I can't believe it. And it's been it, I, it seems like it was just yesterday when I found those pictures, but um, yeah, this minifigure is already turning two years old. So, there's that, but I still use him to this day, and I still think that he's probably the best figure of the decade, or, yeah. There's just the amount of um, detail and all those reasons. So, yeah, that's really my favorite figure, and a lot of you guys want to know why he was, and that's why. Now let's take a look at the set quickly, because this is going on too long. And so here is the main part of the set, which is the truck, and it's just such a cool truck. I think this is probably one of the... I, maybe this is the best um, Lego uh, Toy Story set for city fans because this truck is just so detailed. It looks like a real garbage truck more than some of the other um, Lego City garbage trucks. And so the front does have a printed piece which is not a sticker and it says Toy 2791 and it's basically the license plate. I don't know if you can see that. It might be a little blurry. But yeah, and then there's some detail with the grills right here. And it is a little bit dusty. But the cool part about the front part right there is that you can lift it up just by doing that. And inside there are two seats, but that just destroys the whole minifigure um, scale. So I don't really understand that. But I guess you can make the minifigures drive. And here's the side details, which there's so much detail in this set, like I said before. You got some um, uh, white and red stripes all around like that. And then this little, I guess, gas um, tank part, which um, it fits pretty well. And it looks really well, actually, with these um, three in between these two little wheels right here. So, um, like I said, great detail on the set. And then on the back, this part actually opens, and you just flip it open like that. And this part right here may look like it does something, but it actually does something once you take the top, this little pop off because you could go like that and so that's really the main part of the set because it kind of moves on that so that's just it just makes the set all awesome like there's so many moving parts in the set and you can basically dump out the garbage per se and there is that and here's the bottom I don't know where this piece came from kind of fell off but you can just see there's some detail on there and a lot of space inside there. So I guess you could actually make one of them like hiding under there. Maybe you could fit Buzz. Well, yeah, you probably fit Buzz. I got his wings in there. And the main play feature of the set is actually, besides the dumping feature, you got to press this little thing. And I think this is probably the best play feature in 2010. And basically, if you move this, one of these side parts right here are both. Here's what happens. Um, there you go. You kind of just go like that. And it really doesn't work too well with lots of but let's say if you put another minifigure, let's just put um, Jesse in for a sake. And you move it into here. She dumps in there pretty well, so that's just one of the most awesome play features. And then of course you can dump it out by doing that little part I showed you where you go like that and then they dump out so that's really cool and inside the actual um, trash compactor inside the garbage truck there's really nothing it's just empty space and I'm not sure if I can take the top off but 
Yeah, so you can kind of see inside there by lifting this part right here. And like I said, it's really just a vacant space for the minifigures to lie. So that's really it for the set. And now let's take a look at the final verdict. Just, I love the play features on this set. So I know I didn't put the box up or anything. Uh, my final thoughts on the set is that it's excellent. Definitely an underrated set. I know the price is probably the worst part about it. Because it is $50 for four minifigures. And if you got that Toys R Us, which it is a Toys R Us exclusive, I think it was $55 or something like that. But I do think that if... You could still see this at Toys R Us, I would buy it. I mean, I know the price is still at around $50 to $60 on eBay, sealed. So, um, you could probably get it there for retail price. And uh, the actual truck itself is just an amazing truck. It's a great pr um, parts pack, even though um, it doesn't reach a price per piece ratio, because it does have four, um, around 400 pieces for $50. But still, I think the vehicle itself is just amazing. I'm probably one of the best vehicles in a while from a license scene. And yeah, so I love the play features in the set. I love the minifigures. And the only thing bad for me is the price. But I think that the other stuff kind of makes up. And especially this, I mean, it, like this little dumpster itself is a pretty cool thing. Because it kind of just slides on. There's just wheels on the bottom. And then there's this inside part. So overall, I do rate it. I'm guessing a 9.5, yeah. It's a 9.5 for me because, I mean, the price is the worst part, like I said, in the U.S., but otherwise, just the minifigures are amazing, the uh, vehicle is amazing, and it's fun for all ages because the play features are probably one of the most fun play features from LEGO set in a while. So, yeah, I know I have been rambling on with this set, and I am done with my 100th review. I hope you guys enjoyed it. I know it was very long, but it's just to show how much I love this set. That's it for this review, and I'll see you guys later. Bye.